previously on episode 4. Seth Lamson won a challenge, but the hidden footage showed that he may have sabotaged it. Can Matthew and Seth continue the series, or will Bailey Byrne finish it right here and right now? Here is episode 5. In case y'all didn't know, this time of the year in, uh, in South Texas, it gets pretty, pretty hot. And Matt, for some reason, wanted to make a challenge where, you know, we run like a combined like 4.8 miles. So it's going to be hard. You know, Broom definitely has the advantage, I feel like. He's good at this stuff. But, and especially when he finds a way to rig it, he'll definitely have the advantage. But like I said, he's had two chances to uh, finish this off and he hasn't done it yet. So, Let's see if he can do it here. It's a challenge five. Uh, it's definitely gonna be lots of running. However, I definitely have quite a bit of endurance. I was a long distance runner in middle school, up throughout high school, and even now I still run miles, mile and a half. Definitely not as strong as runners I used to be, but I definitely know Seth don't do anything that involves anything long distance. So I'm not too worried about Seth on this challenge. However, Seth has the advantage as far as disc golf goes. Broom's never even thrown a disc golf in his life, and then if you watched any videos on my channel, you know I'm nowhere, anywhere near good at this golf. So if Seth can get that in one take, he may have a shot. But as far as getting places to place, he's gonna be the slowest. I think it's gonna be pretty intense. My strategy here is I've gone and I've kind of been talking to Bailey and I've kind of been like, uh, I've been kind of nice to him. I said, you know what, Bailey? Yeah, you, you've, been fun, you've been fun to compete with, you know, I've been, kind of butter them up, you know, getting them, getting them feel good about himself, getting them feel good. So, you know what, when he, when he goes into the challenge, I'm hoping, I'm hoping he's overconfident and you know, that overconfidence gets the best of him and under the pressure he crumbles. As far as Seth goes, I don't need to say anything to Seth. Seth will mentally tell himself he can't do it. So I don't really need to mess with Seth's mind. He'll do it for himself. As far as I, as far as, as far as, as I can for me, I just need to, uh, Stay confident in myself. Uh, slow, slow and steady at the at the station. But I need a haul butt get to the station. Um, every physical competition so far I've won. So uh, I feel like I'm I'm pretty good in shape. I just gotta uh, keep my head in the game. Can't get lost here. Challenge five. This is gonna be the most testing yet. Um, this is gonna be a big. This is gonna be a big challenge. Maybe a lot, you may be in, be in for a long video. I should win this. Here are the rules for challenge five. One contestant at a time will start at the starting point. On their movement, their time will start. The first three stations, the competitor will get to choose in what order they want to do them in. Station one is knock them down. They'll throw a baseball to knock down the pin. Station two is disc golf competitor will have to sink a putter. Station three is horseshoes, where the competitor must ring a horseshoe. Before arriving to each station, they will need to grab the equipment they need from the designated area each time. They must bring the equipment back after completing each station, or they'll face a time penalty. They will still need to retrieve a bean bag and make one last long run to the last and final station. Once the competitor lands the bean bag on the platform, their time will stop. The competitor with the least amount of time will win challenge five. The contestants determine their order by random draw. First up is Bailey Broom. Second is Seth Lampson. And third and last to go is Matthew Geisel. This can be more like a this can be more like a marathon, so it's not gonna be a, a sprint. It's not gonna be a sprint. 100 percent Alright. Here we go.
first try, baby. Let's go. Let's go! That's a world record. Anybody beating that? Ringer on the first try. Frisbee two tries in a row. Three hands over there. Yeah, you know. Let's go. Ending this. How you feel, bro? I feel great, man. I feel great. My endurance is what kept me in it. Slow down a little bit with speed. That's totally fine because I nailed my shots when I needed to. I got it done when I needed to. I'll come in clutch, baby. Come in clutch. Let's rock it. Need the number 13, baby. Get that 13. Let's go. Many, many minutes later. <laughs> Eventually. First try, baby.
This is miserable. I just hit my leg. That's a ringer. Under five minutes, right? Got him to say post game? I think I got it in the bag. You think? Yeah. Call Matthew. Calling Matthew, baby. Smiling pile of poo. <laughs> Mobile.
want you to go head back to the track soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> this is the real deal, guys. Oh, we should have a medical staff out here. Second place with a time of six minutes and 53 seconds. Not the guys. <laughs> so coming in first place at a time of 529. That channel king, Bailey Brew. There, baby. I knew it was gonna happen. Had to win all three physical competitions, but I pulled it out. Great competitors right here. Bailey on my channel. I like to personally crown you channel king. It feels good to be on top, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Go ahead and cue victorious music. Nice. Well, as I predicted right before this, I won. As I predicted from the beginning, I won. Uh, I don't want to be too cocky about it. I had some good competitors. Uh, I'm ready to see what Seth has to say about me sabotaging this last one. Because... Uh, I wasn't even around when he was going. Me and Matt left. But, um. I nailed the horseshoe on the first try. I nailed the disc off on my second try. Hit that on like my fourth, hit the baseballs on my fourth try, roughly, and hit the bean bags on like my fourth attempt. So, I feel really good about myself. It feels nice to be the channel king. Crown king, don't forget it, baby. Obviously, my time would say I didn't do good, but. I think a lot of people would say you didn't do good. Yeah. Broom won, and, um, you know, the couple other ones he won were questionable. But I'm not trying to take the spotlight away from him in this final win. You know, he won. He's a great competitor. His time was, was pretty impressive. You know, I wasn't here to watch it. So that's why, you know, they made us go away so we couldn't watch it. So, I mean, honestly, I have no idea if he did or not. And I'm not going to speculate on those things right now. No more questions about that, please. All right, one more final. No more questions. I'll see you all next year. Oh. That challenge. Definitely most physical challenge we did throughout this entire series. I mean, that was a tough challenge. Uh, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. I can already feel myself tightening up in areas. That was an absolute, I mean, that, that, that challenge was super hard. I did a lot better than I, I thought. Only, that's only because uh, before, before my turn, Bailey had already went and he came and we just had a little one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, he trusted me like that. And uh, he told me what to expect. He told me what worked for him. He actually taught me how to shoot a horse, throw a horseshoe. I didn't never, I never thrown a horseshoe. He told me to do it like this. That's because we built that bond. And, uh, and I think that played a part why I came so close. Seth, I, I knew he wasn't ever going to win. So this is not, <laughs> this, is, this is not a challenge for Seth. He's not fast. He's not strong. He doesn't have any endurance. I didn't see him caring at all about this challenge. Bailey was definitely the one to beat. And sure enough, I respect it. it played well of course disappointed this is my channel you know I wanted that crown I wanted to be the king and Bailey did it so congratulations Bailey proud of you did a good job keep it up you're never playing on my channel again I'm kidding <laughs> but as far as that video as far as, far as this this ends the series and I uh, just want to let you know this is the finale finale episode however much money this video makes is how much money Bailey will make so like I said in the very beginning you play a part every time you watch this video it gives it an opportunity to make more money. Every single time you share this video to your social media or share this video with a friend, it gives this video more of an opportunity to make more money. The more money this video makes, that's how much Bailey will make for winning this series. Thank y'all for watching, I appreciate it. We have a new series coming soon. I'll keep you updated on that. Thank y'all for watching.